Hello, and welcome back. In this video, I have things that by themselves don't really make up a full video themselves. So I kind of just packed a few things together and are making this video out of it. And for all you new us uh, users out there to, to Linux, um, something I really didn't know about, um, I'd always used use the man pages well let's get it going here i always use the man pages uh for finding out things about certain programs from the terminal like uh man bash we'll use that as an example oops type man bash okay this this is the man page or the description for bash it gives you the description what it is the flags um, it's copyright, it's options, it gives options right through here, bugger, dump, dump, help, init file, rc file, and arguments and vacations, obviously, and all that. Okay. Now, another thing, if it's installed in your Linux distribution, distribution that is, now, not all Linux, Linux distributions has this and it's info. Now, I've heard of this and I've never really used it, but do info instead of bash and it brings up pretty much the same thing. Now, if you look at it, this is pretty much the same thing. But what I really wanted to show you was this command. Say, let's clear this out. Say, for instance, uh, if you're working on something, you left, shut your computer down, came back a few hours later, a few days later, a few weeks later, and you're like, man, what was the name of that thing that I was working on? Did you know about, and I hope I'm saying this right, Apropos, A-P-R-O-P-O-S. That is a program that is part of the... Uh, information system for uh, man pages it's an extension to it I think so let's do info I, I, I when I say I think I think that's the best description for it info a p r o p o s a p r o s now here's the description for it each manual page has a short description available within it a propos a pro a prop OS. I wonder if it's a prop OS. It's probably a prop OS. Okay, I'm going to call it that from now on. A prop OS searches the description for instances of keywords or keyword. So think of it as like a search engine for your man pages. So say, say I was working on wireless. If you put in a a propos, a prop OS, man, I said it the other way for too long now, it's kind of stuck that way. So if you type in that and network, there we go. I tried networking, I didn't, I've never tried it before, so like I said, I'm pretty new to this one. And this is every man page that has the word network in it, inside the man files, inside the description. And so basically what it does is it shows you what the name of the program is, or the man page rather, shows you what page it is. IPvVLL network address configurations, and it gives a brief description of what it does. So, if we get into this a little further, so let's choose Netstat. There you go. Now, if you type in info, and that'll bring up this part of it for you. Bring up the uh, the pages for it. So I figured to share that. I mean, I've been using Linux for 20 years, and I've always searched man pages by. Uh, 
coming across the program and it's saying, oh, to find out more information on it, type man net stat. Oop, I didn't type that in right. Darn it. Mr. T. And that's how I would do it. I never knew there was a, and I should have really known this, that there was a search engine for it. And there you go. A prop OS. Have you heard of it before? If you have, and I missed something on it, or if I'm completely wrong, please leave the comment down below. I did not realize that this was even there. <laughs> so the thing about Linux is nobody's an expert on it. Nobody can be an expert on it. There's so much that goes into it that nobody can ever call them an expert on Linux. You can be an expert on Linux kernel. You can be an expert on a program that goes into it and how it reacts. You can be an expert on networking on Linux. But you can never be a Linux expert because you don't know everything about it. There's always a little bit, little tidbits that people have been doing this for 30, 20, 30 plus years that still are learning things that are in, in the operating system that they didn't know about. Anywho, I forget. I just bring this little tidbit up and show you show it to you guys, and off to the next one.